Okay, I guess I'm live. I'm on my phone, and um, I don't really know how to do this. Okay, also, I've been sick since Christmas, and I look like it. <laughs> I look pretty rough right now, um, but I wanted to hop on and do one last, sorry, I keep moving my phone, um, one last quick live stream for the year, and how do I get my chat pulled up? Let me see. Okay, I think it's just going to like come up over the screen. Um, so anyways, I wanted to jump on and do one last live haul for the year for you guys. Um, I did go to Salvation Army this morning, and I didn't get a ton of stuff. Like, usually when I go on sale days, I can get like 30 to 50 items. Today I walked out with only 18. So the blue tags were on sale, and... Um, there just like weren't any. There was a ton of the other colors, but like no, no, no sale colors. Okay, so it looks like some of you guys are popping up in the chat. Hello, Maria. Hello, Posh with Pets. Thank you. I just curled it. Like I ran out the door so fast to go to um, Salvation Army, and I tried to make myself look a little bit more presentable. But I feel like I still definitely look sick, and I probably sound like it too. So, anyways, um. I have a few things I want to talk about because I never like really told you guys what I did with my store when I went out of town and um, I guess I'll just share that right now. So we left a week ago. Um, we live in Alabama and we are currently in Michigan for the holidays um, and I turned my store completely off. I turned it on vacation mode and I made it so that you can't buy my listings which I don't normally do. I don't normally like to do that. But because we were going to be out of town for so long, I just turned it completely off because I figured like waiting two weeks for your order was like a really long time. Um, and then on the first or the second, I'm going to turn it back on and just have really long handling time. Um, so that way I can get some sales. And then I'm going to go back to Alabama. I'm going to take two days to drive there. Um, I think Sunday and Monday I'm going to take... And so I think I'm going to turn my Poshmark closet back on on Friday um, because I should be able to ship out either Monday or Tuesday. So um, that's that. Anyways, I am going to start digging into some items and I'm going to go a lot slower and share more information because in the past couple haul videos I've just gone really fast and <laughs> I realized that like I like I don't know I was just showing items and not really talking about like not really giving any details. So when I share prices of what things for will sell for, or what I think they will sell for, keep in mind that I do charge shipping. So on eBay, I tend to charge um, four or five dollars for first class, and for priority, I charge seven dollars if it will fit in a padded flat rate. Um, if it will need to go in a box, I usually just do calculated shipping because it just makes it easier. <laughs> um, and yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This first item is White House Black Market. This one's really cute. So it has like a little peplum hem detail. This is a size small. And this I think will go for about $15 to $20. So when I price things on eBay, I feel like things are way more likely to sell for full price on eBay than they are on Poshmark. So I tend to... Um, like if I price something for $15 on eBay, I'll probably price it for $20 on Poshmark to allow room for offers to likers and also just like offers from buyers. Um, so, and if I say like I think it'll sell for like $15 to $20, I'm probably going to list it like $20 to $25. Um, so yeah. This is from Airy, which is basically the same thing as American Eagle. They're like the same brand. So, like when you shop on the... I actually ordered something from Airy, and I thought it was from American Eagle. My dog is... Or my mom's dog is scratching at the door to get in. Um, anyways, I ordered a sweater from Airy, and I thought I was shopping on the American Eagle website. I think they're like on the same thing. But anyways... Airy sells like a lot of loungewear and sleepwear and things like that. 
So um, this is just a little sweater. It's very thin. Like it's very sheer, you can tell. So again, I, this will probably go anywhere from 15 to 20. This sweater is by Loft. I feel like I got quite a few um, knits and I don't really pick up a lot of sweaters, but this one's from Loft. This is a size small. It's just like a blue kind of crew neck sweater. It's not looking very blue compared to the <laughs> blue wall, but um, again, 15 to 20 on that one. Okay, this dress, if you guys watched my last haul that I did on Monday, I showed a dress very similar to this. Um, so this one's by J. Crew. This is the brand new J. Crew tag, or I don't know, brand new, but the newest one that's black. Um, it's like a black little ribbon. I showed a dress very similar to this last week, um, like a white lace dress. This one is so cute. Um, it's a double zero petite, so it's very tiny. Let me see what season this is. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, J. Crew, if you look on the little fabric tag on the inside, it'll tell you what season it's from, and you can also find the style name. So, okay. So this one, the style is G4579. That's really good if you want to find um, the like original J. Crew listing. A lot of times if I search that, the J. Crew website will pop up, even if it's an older item, and sometimes it'll tell you the original price. Um, so this is from spring 2017, so it's not that old. And it's really cute. <clears throat> this, I'm guessing, will go for $30 to $40. Here's another J. Crew item. This is just a very basic, like, button down shirt. I don't pick up a ton of these, but it was a really good price. <laughs> um, so, again, it's the newer J. Crew label. This is called um, the Stretch Perfect shirt. It's a size small. It's like this burgundy color. And this one is from fall 2017, I think. So, yeah, fall 2017. So, this is a newer one as well. I tend not to pick up a ton of these basic, like, button-down dress shirts, but it was new. It was, I like the color, and, yeah. Okay. This next one is from Vince Camuto, which I don't pick up a ton of. I pretty much only pick it up at this sale, <laughs> at the Salvation Army sale, and this one was a 2X, so I picked up a couple plus size tops and I don't have a ton of them in my store I really need to kind of like expand my um, size range I have a lot of like smalls and mediums but I really need to get more plus sizes so I grabbed a couple today um, this one is like a pink and I don't know it's kind of like speckled top and then here's the other one I got this one the brand isn't as good Oh, this one, probably, I don't know, 10 to 15. Vince Camuto doesn't sell, like, as great. But plus sizes usually do better on Poshmark and eBay, so that's why I got them. Um, Style & Co., I think this is sold at JCPenney. So, again, this is probably a 10 to $15 item. But I thought this one was really cute. It's kind of like a tunic style. It's very boho. has, like, wider sleeves and then the cross detail in the back. Very cute. Okay, this is another J. Crew item. I got quite a few. This is the older tag. So, um, this is a size medium. It's a cardigan. J. Crew and Loft cardigans do really well for me. I think I said that in my last video, but I'll just say it again. So, yeah, this is another probably $15 to $20 item. Okay, <coughs> I'm sorry, like I said, I've been a little sick, but um, this brand I haven't had a ton of luck with, but I haven't ever picked up anything like this, and I really like this top, so I grabbed it. It's Michael Stars, which uh, I think sometimes this is sold at Nordstrom, sometimes Anthropology. I could be completely wrong. Um... But anyways, it's this little blouse. It's snake print. It buttons all the way down the front. And it has kind of like a high-low hem. It's really cute. It's a size medium. 
I'm not super familiar with this brand. Um, I've only picked up a few pieces here and there, but my guess is 15 to 20 on that one. Another J. Crew item, and I've actually sold this exact same skirt. It was green, but it was this exact same style. So I picked it up again. This is a size 8. It is a little corduroy mini skirt. This is a very like fall style. But I think the last one I had like this sold for about $20 on Poshmark. <clears throat> Okay, here's another sweater. This one is from Loft and it's a size large, which is good because I feel like I find Loft mainly in size small and medium. Um, but it's this pink sweater. It's really cute. I love the different textures on the front. Crew neck. It's probably not made out of anything special. Let's see. Camel hair. <laughs> 5% camel hair. Anyways, it's a cotton blend with some other things mixed in there. But it's really cute. Good for winter. Um, again, 15 to 20. I feel like that's what most of these are, but um, you know, when I go to Salvation Army's on Saturday, I'm basically getting a bunch of bread and butter and 15 to 20 dollars is like my bread and butter range. So, okay, I did get, actually I'll show this dress before I get into the jeans, but um, this is really pretty, again. It's like a little sheath dress, strapless. This one is from White House Black Market, size two. But oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's like satin. I love that one. So this one is probably like anywhere from 20 to $30. Okay, let's get into some jeans. I only have three pairs, I guess, to show you guys, but the last few times I've gone to Salvation Army, I just haven't looked at the jeans because I get, like, such a good volume of tops, and if I have a bunch of tops to list, I can usually list and photograph them very quickly. Jeans take a little bit longer for me to photograph, so I prefer to do tops, but I wasn't finding a ton of tops today, so I went through the jeans, and, um... I got a couple. I think they're all pretty much like the same brand. Anyways, this first one is Lewin Gray. Lewin Gray is sold at Loft. It's one of the sister companies. And um, they do a lot of like lo loungewear and stuff. Nordstrom also just started selling Lewin Gray, which is kind of cool. So these are like, they're kind of like a gray, distressed, skinny. These are a size 24, so they're very tiny. <laughs> but um, these will probably go for about 20 plus shipping. Um, next is another pair. These are loft. They are white. They're the modern straight. So the modern skinny... Um, they have like a modern skinny, a modern straight, and a modern boot cut. I feel like those tend to do a little bit better. Um, anyways, these are white. So, you have to be really careful when you buy white jeans. I look these over like three times, um, because it's so easy to get like stains or anything on them. Um, and a lot of people I know don't pick up white clothing. I do. You just have to be really careful um, make sure it's in really good condition. So again, probably 20 on that one. <clears throat> and then this last pair of jeans is also, I'm just going to rip this off, um, is also from the loft. These are really cute. Um, they're a size zero. So again, <laughs> really small. These are all really small. Let's see if these have a name. Yeah. Okay. So these are the modern high waist skinny ankle. They're really cute. They're like a lighter wash, and this knee has a little bit of distressing in them. They're really good style. I try to pick up, like, higher sizes of jeans, but um, 
these will still sell they just take a little bit longer for me okay so all that stuff was on sale I did grab a couple things full price and there are these items right here this I was so excited to find I wish I found this before Christmas because it's like a very Christmassy plaid <clears throat> but it's by Madewell it's this little button front shirt it's kind of like a flannel but um it feels like a linen but it's made out of wool it's very strange um anyways very cute this one hopefully i'll get at least 34. <clears throat> and then these last two items are free people there's a little free people tag this is like a henley it's not really the thermal material but this Henley style is one of the more popular ones. And this one is a size large, which is good. I mean, it looks small for a large, but still, it's a large. Um, it has this little, like, satin detail on the back. This one should go for, like, 25 to 30 And then I got this um, maxi dress. This one's by Free People as well. This one's... <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. My throat's really dry. This one's a size medium. It's um, black with some stripes on it, and this one is slit, like, all the way up the side. There's a slit right there. Really cute. This one, again, probably 25 to 30. And that is everything. So I got 18 items today. I was thinking in the car on the way to Salvation Army, I was trying to figure out how many items... I want to source in Grand Rapids and bring back to Alabama and I'm thinking 140 is <laughs> what I want to get to um, that'll give me 20, 20 items a day for seven days and when I get back to Alabama I'm gonna be <laughs> pretty busy with other things so the goal is to get this stuff drafted before I get back down there um, I was going to photograph everything up here at my mom's house but she is actually in the process of moving and she packed up all of her photography equipment um, and like her backdrop and everything so I'm not able to use it unfortunately so I'm gonna get everything drafted and then I'll just photograph them all and make 20 live every day um, when I get back down to Alabama that's kind of my plan so, um, this is my last video for the year. I think, yeah, it should be because there's only two days left in the year. So, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, 2018 was kind of wild <laughs> and crazy. A lot of changes, a lot of things happened. Um, I got to go to eBay Open and Posh Fest which was really awesome to like meet you guys like it's really strange like when I started this channel I didn't think I'd get a single subscriber <laughs> and um now I like meet you guys in person like it's so strange but I love it so thank you to everyone um that watches along and follows me on here or Instagram um I'm so excited to grow this little community even more in 2019 um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to say thank you. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll look a little bit better and I won't be sick anymore. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to spend the day, um, with my best friend. She's coming down from Traverse City and, um, she's bringing her little boy. We're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, just hang out. And then tonight I have my very la last Christmas party of the year. I feel like Christmas was already so long ago, but I do have one last little party tonight at my dad's house. Um, so that should be fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how the quality was on this video. Is it like normal? Like can you see in here like normal? Because I am on my phone instead of my laptop. Um, but I feel like this was actually kind of easier um, than my laptop. So anyways, let me know <laughs> if the quality is still good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next year with another video. Bye.